resilient people they don't dwell on the situation they reflect and then they move on let us start with the story from Carolee Takas you may not be aware of the name but once you know the story you will be amazed so Carolee was in Hungarian army around 1937 1938 he was one of the best pistol shooter in the country and he won all the local competitions and he was all set to go for the olympics of 1940 and bring a gold home then something unfortunate happened in 1938 during his drills as an army man a defective grenade blasted in his right hand and he lost his hand at that moment everything shattered for him he was about to go to olympics win a gold and now the hand the best hand was gone carolee was taken to hospital everything happened took care of and then comes 1939 local competitions and guess what carolee is there so people thought okay he's here he w- he can't move away from the sport and they were like oh we feel so sorry about you and those kind of soft words but carolee said to them i am here to compete and they were all shocked carolee was practicing for the last whole year with his left hand that is resilience but it doesn't end there he won all the competitions again then due to world war 1940 olympics were postponed and by that time carolee's age was 1940 he was 30 years old and the next olympic was in 1944 so at 34 year you can imagine as an athlete 34 years old you're kind of little bit aged but that doesn't phase carolee out he's ready but then 1944 olympics were cancelled as well 1948 olympics carolee struck gold the one most interesting thing which happened there which is mentioned in few of the stories about carolee carlos enrique who was the defending champion he asked carolee there what are you doing here and carolee's answer was i am here to learn So that's our first lesson. If you want to be resilient, you have to have a lifelong learning attitude. And Carly didn't stop there. He went to 1952 Olympics. He won the gold again and he was the first person in that sport to win two golds in two Olympics. He also participated in 1956, although this time he didn't win any medals. What are the lessons we learn from Carly's story? First, he was courageous. He was brave to take that challenge with his left hand. He was ready. He was courageous anyway because he was an army man. But it was a special kind of courage to face everybody, those who were using their best hand and he was using his only hand. he was an optimist so the first thing which comes out of this is to grow your resilience you need to be courageous and you foster your courage with optimism you see the world as abundance if anybody else was in carolee's place that person could have thought like ah oh, i lost my best hand i got so much sympathy from the world that's it but no carolee saw the opportunity in everything even the years and years he had to wait second thing we learn from carolee is his dedication he was dedicated he just wanted that one thing and he fostered that with his growth mindset just think how many times he missed the shot when he was starting 
with the left hand. And how he felt when he was hitting the bullseye every single time and now. But he carried on, improving day by day, bit by bit. Stay dedicated and foster it with the growth mindset. The final thing we learned from Carly, focus. He was absolutely focused on one thing. He wants to win that gold. May it be with the right hand or the left hand. He's going to win it. But how he was fostering his focus, that was through self-compassion. Just imagine 38 years of age, two Olympics cancelled, lost the hand, and the trauma of that blast, everything. How he was fostering himself, his well being, his physical fitness, his mental fitness, just to achieve that goal. So, to recap, to be resilient, have a lifelong learning attitude. You should be courageous and you foster your courage with the optimism. See the world full of opportunities. You should be dedicated and you foster this dedication with the growth mindset. You should be absolutely focused and you look after your mental and physical well-being. Then you will achieve anything you want in your life. In the next video, we're going to share a funny example. <laughs>